Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3 video. I'm back with Pal World, Paul World, whatever you say. Uh, so now I have not activated the mod and my settings are 1080p mm, high. DLSS is currently off for uh, reasons I will show you later. Like if you have a MD card, you don't use, uh, you don't have the DLSS option. So I tried to make this video for every graphics card like uh, amd nvidia intel so that's why i have disabled the dlss right now and on 1080p uh, high setting i am getting around 70 fps without the mod 70 to 80 yeah 70 to 80 fps uh, now let's begin the mod <coughs> so i've got two files uh, two different version of the mod uh, first here um, mod v1 Pearl World FS3 mod V1 and Pearl World FS3 mod V2. So I'm gonna use the V1. V1 seems to be working for me. But if in case uh, V1 doesn't work for you, you can try mod V2. So first uh, we'll have to extract the zip, then open the folder, copy everything inside it. Then we go to the installation directory, Pearl World. After that, Pearl, Pal, whatever you say, binaries win64 and where the pal world win64 shipping.dx is located paste everything right here after pasting we need to do a little bit extra work to make this mod work uh, we need to run this game from this shortcut and we need to enable that directx12 uh, what do you say tweak so to do that <coughs> first you need to right click on the uh, first select the uh, .exe file then right click on it then send to click on desktop shortcut then you can close this folder then come on the shortcut right click on it go to properties and where the target uh, path is located click at the end of this target path like dot exe and press a, a space from the keyboard and a space after that press an hyphen then press dx12 just it no space in between the dx or 12 just the high uh, space uh, after the dot exe so one space then hyphen then dx12 uh, after that hit apply click ok and you need to run the game from this shortcut every time you want to use the mod so now you guys can skip 10 seconds ahead Uh, now I'm back in the mod uh, game sorry and I have not activated the mod yet uh, to activate the mod you need to press the home key or for some people it's function plus home key like if you have a lap laptop and all uh, you need to activate the function key then press the home key uh, we don't need this window particularly we can side it and we need to use this window so here uh, you need to select the dlss or fsr according to your gpu like i'm gonna select fsr3 because i want to make this mode work for every gpu so i'm gonna select fsr3 upscaling and i have ticked the frame generation and now as you can see the frame rate has boosted so this has the uh, hood fix option uh, but the unticking the hood fix is still uh, fix the hood i don't know why uh, like i'm having no hood problem at all even if the hood uh, fix is unticked uh, but yeah i'll still take it anyway so yeah fsr 3 is working fine now i'll switch to dlss and it's getting dark here guys i don't know if you guys can clearly see the gameplay because it's getting uh, dark in the uh, game's world uh, is there any torch system i don't know uh, anyway you can just see the fps uh, up here uh, so yeah it's fully working no hood glitching at all and do not uh, enable the dlss inbuilt if you have the uh, rtx card do not use the in games dlss setting turn this off and you can enable it from the uh, uh, menu by clicking uh, home key or function plus home key whichever your keyboard or system supports uh, what the hell i'm getting frozen or what <laughs> maybe i need to be built a fireplace 
<laughs> okay i'm not gonna play the game for long anyway i showed you guys the mod uh, hope this helps you uh, so do install the mod uh, see which one works better for you dlss uh, fsr 3 or xcss i think xcss will still work yeah xcss is still also working so you guys can see which one works better for you mm, xcss dlss fsr 3 so yeah do subscribe to the channel guys if it helps you uh leave a like and if you face any kind of uh, issue uh comment down below i'll leave my discord link to the description and thank you i'll see you guys in the next one